All right, we are being recorded. All right, so welcome to this week's webinar session. Um, as I mentioned to you guys, um, this session will be recorded and will be uploaded to our YouTube channel, Marmon Food Service Technologies. So how to communicate via the webinar. Um, during the webinar, just type in all your questions via the chat feature. Um, as questions will be entered through the webinar, um, I'll make sure I'll be reviewing those at the end of the presentation. So the, 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 the webinar session for this week um, it's, it's, it's titled the topic that we'll be discussing unit not dispensing orders from the OS system. So first thing what we want to do is we want to go into technician mode. So we want to do is we want to select menu, select technician, and then enter the passcode of 9876. Inside unit, inside unit setup, we're going to select unit setup after we're in technician mode. We're going to select NP6 server setup. So we select unit setup, then go into NP6 server setup. And the first thing we want to do is always we want to verify the IP address number. All drive through units will start with a 10 and finish with an 88. All front counter units will start with a 10 and finish with an 89. For, for this webinar session, is this right here just for um, demo purposes, but the IP address is unique to each store, um, but by all means, all uh, McDonald's IP addresses for drive-through units will start with a 10 and eight. And whatever numbers inside these boxes are strictly unique for the McDonald's restaurant. So once, it, once we go in here and we have verified that the IP address is correct, um, so then, you know, let's continue on. And what else can we check for to see why units are not dispensing through the POS system? So first we check the IP address. Now let's check operational status. Operational status should show up as we can see here. If a network is found, it will show up. If there is no network signal coming to the ABS2, it's going to show operational status down. So by all means, anytime you go in here and you want to, as you're right on top of the IP address, you want to check operational status. You always want to check to, that it's always showing up. If it's showing up and we have the correct IP address, then uh, so far, so good. Now, if we have in here, we have the correct IP address, but it's showing operational status down. So what do we do now? So now we got to troubleshoot on operational status down. So first thing is that you want to ask the customer on their end is verify the output signal from their store network switch box. You want to ask them to verify that the CAT5 cable is good in working conditions. And, the, and as a service agent, what we want to do is we want to bypass the rear Ethernet adapter of the ABS 2.0 unit by connecting straight to the UI display. All right, so in the rear of the unit, this is where you connect the uh, CAT5 cable that comes from the store network. So what we're gonna do, instead of connecting it here, we're gonna, connect it, we're gonna connect it straight to the UI display in the front. And by doing this, we are bypassing the rear ethernet adapter, this adapter that we see here in this picture. After you bypass it, you're gonna proceed with doing a power cycle to the unit. Once it powers up once again, we're going to go back into the same screen menu and we're going to check the operational status. If the operational status changes to up, then we know that we have a bad Ethernet adapter. And at that moment, you're going to have to order part number 62005835. And that's the OEM part number. If for any particular reason we you have checked all these previous steps. You have uh, verified that the IP address is correct. You have verified that the operational status is up. Um, you, the, you have confirmed that there's no bad rear Ethernet adapter. And at that moment, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, call Marmon Link at 1-800-238-3600. That's our Marmon Link customer service support. And they'll be um, requesting 
for you to send the error logs um, via email for further troubleshooting support. Now, how do you retrieve the error logs off the ABS2? We've actually done a webinar session that goes through um, start to finish and how to do this process. So please refer to our previous sure. webinar on how to send error log files and send to Cornelius for review. And this video can be found in our YouTube channel. So this brings it to our end of our this week's topic as regarding um, ABS 2.0 um, POS issues as far as orders not being dispensed to the unit. And just for future awareness, um, always visit our mfttechtraining.com website um, to always sign up for upcoming um, trainings you know, for ABS2, Vibrilli, and, and other uh, Marmon Food Service products. At this moment, I'll open it up if anyone has any questions. When you got to turn off the power and restart it again, how long should you wait, like a minute or longer? I, I would say between 30 seconds to a minute is, is more than enough. Any other questions? Do they got to restart their POS at all? Like on so, the the, the restart of their, of their POS system um, could also be done as a, another option. Um, you could actually do that after you've done all your kind of steps that we've discussed here. Um, and, and as you're getting the error logs off the unit, you can have them reset their register 14. That's what it is for the ABS too. And to see if that could also solve their issues. Any other questions? All right, so I wanna say thanks for joining this week's uh, webinar session. Um, look, look forward to seeing you guys in the next edition of our ABS Supano webinar session. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks, bye.